Steve, there you are. I told you to alphabetize the DVDs, and I can't find Red Dawn. Dad, can I unwind for a minute? I'm walking in from a hard day at work. Hard day? You work at a grocery store. You know who actually works hard? Machines. Machines work nonstop for years. I mean, take my watch. Where's my watch? You left it in the hotel room in Orlando last spring. Oh, for God's sake. I was just taking a midnight stroll when I saw what looked like a magical owl fly by, and oh, look at that. It's right here, and it's carrying a letter. <gasps> what does it say? It says I've been admitted to Hogwarts School of Wizardry. The gypsy was right. I am special. And here I was, thinking you were just a gullible idiot. When do you start? This Saturday. I better start packing. Who deserves a milk, Dad? You do. Oh, God, is this all my fault? Yes. Roger, please be mean. If you have to be a jerk to live, then come on. Give us all you got. Are you sure? Yes, Roger, we're sure. Okay. Send me Steve. Dance for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. I've got what I need. You are terrible. You've got no rhythm, no coordination. I've, I've seen two epileptics share a bowl of noodles with more grace. If your goal was to inspire a feeling of despair, the likes of which hasn't been felt since Whoopi hosted the Oscars, then bravo! Okay, I think that's enough, Roger. Honey, no, it's good for the both of them. I can envision millions of Americans rising up as one and demanding legislation that would require your legs to be amputated, burned, and buried next to Hitler. In short, you suck! Oh, yeah, that's the stuff! Oh, Roger, you're back! And you're starting to get lunch lady arms. What an ugly thing to say. I never should have tried to change you. And I shouldn't have tried to change myself, either. And I didn't think I was going to get through the day. But then I remembered what you said about letting go and moving on. You know what? I have to stop you. This has become boring. I'm going to be a pretend fireman for a while. Ding, 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 ding. Family doesn't support me. That's okay. I know it's here. If I eat all the dirt, all that will be left is the gold. Oh, my God. He's gone totally insane. We've got to have an intervention and stop this madness. Francine. What, what are you doing here? I came to find you. Oh, Francine, I'm so embarrassed about how I acted. No, this is my fault, too. Marriage takes work, no matter how long you've been in it. I'm sorry I haven't been making an effort. And I'm sorry that girl was the one to make you feel special. I want to be the one to make you feel that way. Always. Francine, come on. What? Hey, have a little coffee with your sugar. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I lost track of time. Check it out! <gasps> He's only got one pube! Ew, and it's red! <laughs> Let's get the oh. swirly! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, Lisa! Wait! No! Please! We did say there were crappy times, right?
serve Steve right, stealing my thunder. Still, I can't believe everyone forgot my birthday. Not everyone. Yeah, you. Happy birthday, Roger. Make a wish. It already came true. I hate Steve so much. <gasps> what have I done? I've turned my own son into an amoral smuggler who believes you can pick and choose which laws you follow. Dad, this is it. Steve, no! Don't go to the light! Go as close to the light as you can, and then ask my grandfather why Jim Neighbors was at his funeral. But then come back! Steve, can you hear me? Local crime beat be damned, I'm taking you to the hospital. Unless, of course, this kick revives you. Uh. Dad? He's waking up! What happened? Son, you're okay. Turns out you didn't have a heart attack after all. Which, in my opinion, makes all your dramatics on the kitchen floor a bit uncalled for, but whatever, you thought what you thought. You have angina, which, according to Dr. Natterson, sounds like vagina. I, I don't know about that, but he's the doctor. Dad, you... you brought me to the hospital? Of course I did, son. Having you safe and sound is all that matters. But that means your picture's gonna be in the paper tomorrow. It was in the paper six weeks ago. You've been in a medically induced coma. I was shamed, I suffered, and I've moved on. And frankly, the family's recently been far more concerned with Roger's runaway banana boat. Okay, close your eyes. I want you to picture a boy. Is he white? Yes, he's white. He's also not popular, and he gets shot down by every girl that he asks out. But he keeps his chin up through all of it. And then he takes a chance. He takes a chance by joining the football team because the only thing he really wants to win is his father's affection. Uh-huh. And then his father cuts him from the team. Yeah, Steve, I really gotta... Now, picture that white boy is you. What? My daddy cut me from the team? But daddy, I, I tried my hardest. Why won't you love me? Why, daddy, why? <laughs> Ah, ah, oh, God, this feels so good. Ah, ah, That's right, Dad. Let it out. Ah, what a wonderful alternative to suicide. Told ya. Brenda, don't. You're breaking my heart. How could you do this? How could you bring us here? How could you be so stupid? How could you... Now, hold on a minute. Sure, Stan took something extremely private and made it into a public spectacle, but he was just trying to help. He may act like an idiot, but it comes from a good place. That should count for something. It counts. It counts for a lot. See that? She loves him for who he is in spite of his many, many, many faults. If your dad can't accept you for who you are, then you don't need him in your life. Yeah! Get him out of your life! No. I don't need him in our life. Yeah! All's well! You... You stood up for me. Even though I acted like a complete fool. Of course. You're my husband. My idiot husband. <laughs> so, how'd the big night turn out? It was... There's no word to describe it. Schmoobly dong? That's not it, but it's close. Let me try and put it in terms you can understand. Imagine being high at a rusted root concert while two dudes take you on in a sun-baked port john Wow. <laughs> that actually does sound really good. Yeah, I'd like that too. The celebration's still going on. You know, you could still sing. Am I good enough now? You were always good enough, Steve. I don't know where this low self-esteem is coming from, but you need to start believing in yourself. So go out there and sing. And any way you do it, I'm gonna love it. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light Girl, I'm gonna rock you in 
I need to see the Generalissimo. Welcome to Bananarama, where is party time all the time. Guards, those men are here to kill the Generalissimo. Stop them! The Generalissimo dies tonight. I have painted my children for the last time. Hey, Rebels! Over here! General Pequeño is getting away! The General! Get him! The General's dead! Okay, you were right. They were gonna kill me! I can't believe you sacrificed your helicopter for me. I sacrificed it for my friend. So who's gonna be the new general? I'm sure they'll find the best man for the job. Don't panic. I'm just keeping you down there until I can fix things. And I got your food. Sunfresh chips, right? And a sandwich. Did you get it? Hello? Is the sandwich stuck in the pipe? Did you get any of the chips? They're Sunfresh chips. They're healthy for you. Healthier than regular chips. Oh, no, they are not. <laughs> Yo, yo! I stopped for burgers after I choked it. Are we going too far with this? I sure hope so. Steve, it's almost one. Get a load of Big Ben! Dong, dong. I know what time it is. I'm going to go get Principal Lewis. Yo, girl, you're my lab partner. But I'm paired up with Dennis. Dennis is paired up with the floor now. <clears throat> Steve, you're so crazy today. You think that's crazy? Wait till you see this. Let's fly! No, no don't! <laughs> I don't want to look. Does my leg look broken? Oh, my God! Okay, Stan, now I can tell you. You don't have to get divorced and sell the attic because I was the one who kissed Francine. But it didn't mean anything. It was just a drunken slip-up. Damn it, Roger! Get me the hell out of here! I'm just gonna give you some time to cool off. I'm gonna rip your head off! Okay, so you need more time. Ah! Next time on American Dad. Ah! 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 <laughs> Not the necklace! <laughs> oh, no, Stan. Does this mean we have to do another one of your... Are we good enough to be seen in public Smith family fashion shows? Yes, it does. First up, Haley Smith in what appears to be the white trash going crazy at Lake Havasu collection. Stop! Stop! You are not wearing that to Buckle and Shari's pool party. You look like you should be holding up round cards at a dog fight in Fresno. Mmm. Steve, you've known about this party for a week and you haven't bulked up. You didn't make a dent in that Russian protein powder I gave you. Uh, I don't think it's for people, Dad. Get out of my sight. You made me feel like a fool for building a professional-grade runway in my living room. You, my darling, look perfect. Thank you. But you run your mouth at these things. I'm giving you a hundred-word limit. Here, I got you this counter. Are you serious? You've got 97...